Okay, welcome back to the channel. Hello, it's me. It's been a while. Cool. Find yourself enjoying this one. Like, sub, comment. I do actually have more stuff to post. I'm just editing the rest of it, but yeah, cool. Anyway, Dante time. Right. First of all, Archon Shards. If you're going to use Archon Shards, go with Amber for casting speed. Uh, strength ones are optional, or you can do the energy regen blue shard things for energy, because energy is kind of annoying with this guy when you're spamming off crazy. Crazy amounts of abilities. My build looks like this. So, if you're not going to use uh, Amber Shards, replace Equilibrium with Natural Talent. That way you actually have casting speed. If you are using Shards, Equilibrium goes there. Of course, my strength is really high because I'm using the Red Shards. But you don't need them. Energy Siphon, that can be replaced with quite literally anything. Brief Respite, if you feel like you need uh, survivability. You can use Sprint Boost, Enemy Radar, Corrosive Projection, it really doesn't matter. Uh, any of these work, apart from Steel Charge, that's kind of useless. Yeah, uh, Prime Shore Footed, obviously, shout out Nightmare Frame. Uh, more Strength, Strength, Strength. You don't really need Efficiency on this build. If we really wanted to slot Efficiency, we could take off uh, Augur Reach and put on Streamline instead. But I really don't think it's necessary, especially since I have Max Frank Energize. If you don't have max rank energize, you can switch that out for uh, streamline, which is somewhere here. Yeah, here. You could switch that out, but your your choice. We have duration only for raw, uh, because I don't I don't really like his book thing. I don't think it's very good, but the duration is just for raw, and we're pretty much just spamming two light verses at the start to give us like insane amounts of overguard, and then two dark verses and final verse, and that will basically kill everything in front of you it's pretty open i'm using arachne as i think arachne is buffing the damage of the dark verse which is interesting i don't know if it is doing a lot but it's doing something you can use anything else in this slot really ages fury i don't really care you can put anything even molt augmented if okay so now let's have a look at some content and uh how good dante actually is Okay, so now let's have a look at some weapons that go really well with Dante. First of all, the Convectrix. This weapon is just amazing with Dante. So here is the build I have. This is rank 0, so that the slash rating is higher than the viral rating. Uh, and we have enough status anyway. Bane mod to double dip. Merciless for base damage. Efficient beams is obviously amazing. And then these two are just good. Another weapon, the Cedo, it's alt fire mode, thingy, shoots a disc. Uh, this is the build I have on here, it just procs like viral with a bunch of other junk. Uh, primary deadhead, because I was using it to kill demolists, but you can put merciless, it doesn't really matter. Shoot the disc, disc do status, press 4, boom, GG. Occucore, obviously, my beloved, I love this weapon. Cascadia Flare, and then we're using viral radiation heat. This procs so many statuses, you press 4, they die. Companions, Nautilus, here's my Nautilus build. We are spamming Cordon with the Bond thingy that reduces cooldown and the Verglass. This weapon is ridiculous. The Viral Heat, the Heat procs just absolutely melt enemies. Especially when you press 4, the enemies literally just disappear. It's great. And then pretty much anything else works with his 4. I mean, you can use the Glaive if you really want to. Uh, or like Serata or something to kill enemies that way. But yeah, this is how I'm using them. 
If you found the build useful, feel free to like, sub, comment, as I already said. Uh, it helps me out a lot, and yeah, cool. Peace. Have fun.